Hi, welcome to our channel. We are Compo. If you're new here, please subscribe. We are in Bangkok and we're leaving now back to where it began. At the same airport, same terminal is where we're exiting, getting ready to depart. So it's been a wonderful week in Bangkok and the people have been wonderful, the Thai people. Uh, I felt the, I don't know if it's warm, but uh, definitely there was no hostility I was feeling. They're used to foreigners around, at least in the city where we spent our whole week. And uh, it's, it's really wonderful because they don't speak English. Okay, that's not true. Many of the Thai people speak English. But generally, the Thai people, they embrace their own language. And that's a good thing. That's so wonderful. Uh, you know, uh, just speaking the Thai language. And yet, they're so used to foreigners. And I didn't see any, you know, negativity or, you know, rejection of visitors. We felt at home. It was okay. New things. People were friendly. People were understanding and accommodating we were hospitable and yes it's been a wonderful time here in bangkok thailand i can't believe i've only come here just now since we're neighbors in the philippines so excited to go back home of course to be with their kids and the family i miss them so much so i can't wait to be with them so uh immediately entered the the airport when i saw departures and the gates I, re I, I immediately relieved my trauma of the Malaysia incident, if you know what I'm talking about. For all those who've been following us for a while, when I went to Malaysia, I was not allowed to board. But uh, So I went through all that trauma again, and it was just so hard for me bringing myself to the, to the gate of the, to get my boarding pass and check out. It was, I, I, was, I was just so cranky, I didn't know what to do, I didn't know how to I'm, I'm feeling my heart beat. I'm like, these guys can reject me. And that time I'm holding my permanent residency. <laughs> ah, like, oh yeah, I feel like they're going to refuse me to get to my children. A passport belonging to Mr. Shen Jing. A passport belonging to Mr. Shen Jing has been found needed. in the departure level <laughs> on the fourth floor. Will the owner please contact the airport information caller? In the departure now on the fourth floor. Maybe he doesn't even know his password is that. Anyway, so yeah, I went through. Uh, I guess I have PTSD with with airports, post trauma. Uh, I didn't know I had it. No, I knew I had it the last time I was in an airport in Manila. I was just, I was just feeling. At that time I was dropping somebody. But this time when we arrived, I didn't feel it. But now coming back to go back home, I was feeling like this woman at the gate will tell me I can't go home to my children, I can't go home to my kids. Ah, and now, now we've passed the immigration and I can't, I'm emotional that I, I'm going to get to be with my kids. Like I passed the immigration, like I passed it. <laughs> like I can go home, I can go home, you know. So yeah, I thank God. I thank God for his grace. I thank God for my permanent residency in the Philippines. I thank God just for day to day grace day to day grace and i hope that one day i'll get to a place where when i'm checking in getting my boarding pass in the airport that forgiveness forgiveness is there but the trauma the trauma will be released from my heart all right yeah so this airport is beautiful it's wonderful um, as you can see behind me it's a big sculpture that we did see uh, so they're proud of their culture, it is their national culture, rooted in, um, of course, their belief and their religion, uh, Buddhism, I believe. Uh, so for the men of God out there, let's um, come to Thai, Thailand and pray for them and be with them and share to them uh, about, of course, the Lord God. So that they, because you can see that they have a passion of uh, worship, worshiping according to their holy book, and they're very devoted, they're both very kind, they're very religious, and they're wonderful people. Of course, as uh, Christians, we want them to know uh, the Lord God so that they can know 
uh, the, the true the true gospel so for the people of God out there Thailand Thailand come over here and uh, yeah share to them about the Lord our God yes let's bring the gospel to Thailand Memories of Thailand, of course, it's only been a week. Uh, <laughs> not long enough to have a really long relationship with the people or with the place, but yes, my three most memorable part of Thailand, um, seeing, seeing the culture. The culture was so different from Philippines. And rice, oh my goodness, everywhere I went eating rice, they just had the perfect rice, the best quality of rice. In the Philippines, you have so many kinds of rice depending on the price. Uh, but here, the standard was like one of our top class in the Philippines. So that's number two. Uh, the third one, of course, memories with my babe, Reverend Liz, exploring Thailand together. And uh, yes, um, the park, the park was memorable in the convention center. Uh, I, I was just so impressed how the government allotted a huge track of land just for the enjoyment of people. I hope we can do that uh, in our own country, in the Philippines, in Kenya, everywhere else. My memories of Thailand, the honor stands out, is the food, of course. Uh, so Reverend for him was just the rice, for me it was everything because it was spicy, just perfect, uh, how I love it curries, masalas, all those things and just spice, spice, spice. Thailand food is a must. Yanni, if you come here, that is what you want. It's just authentic Thai food. So that is my first most memorable thing about Thailand is their food. And then secondly, the church also stood out for me. The ICA church at uh, the time there uh, was really, really good. Just seeing uh, different cultures. Coming out to here to be a vineyard, I mean to be laborers in the vineyard because for, for sure Thailand is a big vineyard for the Lord and so just seeing the laborers there finding a young black uh, preacher woman and there were many and then apparently many of our fans were there that day but we missed them <laughs> because they were coming for the second service we went for the first service shout out to you guys we love you thank you so much for watching us and of course uh, like Rev said, just spending it with Rev, we needed it as a couple, uh, you know, just taking time away from the children. You know, our children are eight, six, four, two, meaning so much attention goes to them. And so just working our relationship, it was beautiful, just where only us water. Like the only person I'd wake up and think about is him. The only person he thinks about when you wake up is me. And that was beautiful. It was a whole honeymoon. And most people kept asking us, so where's your boyfriend, where's your girlfriend? I'm like, huh? Boyfriend, girlfriend. <laughs> We've been married 10 years. I mean, it's the 10th year. We have four children, you know. And so, yeah, also, I guess it was a lovey-dovey time for us. And the best part for me is that I did it to the person who means the most to me in my life, which is my husband, my Lord, Reverend Solomon. And of course, I will miss Thailand. I hope to come back. In fact, I hope to come back before my visa expires because I was given four months. <laughs> I don't know why I was given four months. I hope I do get a chance to come back. I hope I get a chance just to minister here. I would love to minister here. I would love to do missions here. I would love to come back now for Jesus because he, before we were here for, for the company, our business. Uh, also, that is another highlight for me was the, the business gala where I wore Maasai and um, it, it attracted a lot of attention. I couldn't go more than three steps, you know, 
you have seen, <laughs> those guys didn't know, <laughs> didn't know me but they just wanted to take pictures with the, the Maasai outfit that they love so yeah just seeing Asians appreciating African culture was such a highlight for me anyway I love Thailand and I hope to come back hopefully this year anyway uh, so send me <laughs> thank you so much guys We thank God for a safe trip. It has been beautiful. We've been traveling the whole night. We checked in at 8 p.m. and we arrived in Manila here at 8 a.m. It's the 9 waiting. already. Last night, 8 p.m. last night, and now it's 9. On Philippine side, everything is in order. Uh, so yeah, we thank God for that. Remember the last time it was a whole ordeal. It was a whole fiasco. Uh, but now we're okay. We're great. Uh, Reverend Liz can travel in and out of the country as much as she wants. Even but without even you. By herself. Uh, even without me. So we thank God for that. And yes, let's head on home and see how the kids are doing. Thank you so much for watching. Last. Wow, at last. It was a miracle going and it's a miracle coming back <laughs> after after 26 hours. This journey took 26 hours, we thank God, from our hotel in Bangkok to the mall, from the mall to the airport in Bangkok, from the airport riding the flight was delayed then it came it was delayed also parking because manila airport was too busy then from manila to now we're back can't wait to see the kids Look at this! 
It's two letters. So, so, Giovanni. Thank you. To dad and mom. Look at that purse event right there. Oh, look at that. Thank you, Kuya. Sorry, this is small. I love it. It's perfect. Hello. That's why you like the boards like this. Yeah. Wow, you're so creative. Look at it. It says, You are my number one. I have daddy. And miss you, mommy and daddy. Miss you very much, mommy and daddy. I love you, I love you, I love you. Whoa! Oh, yes, you have my back. Thank you. We miss you guys. Oh, wow. Taylor's, let's see what Taylor says. Yes. Welcome home, Dad. I hope you enjoyed your stay in Thailand. Hope you also enjoyed. Riding the elephant. It's been a long time traveling from Thailand until here. You must be tired. Yeah. Daddy, yeah. Oh, it's for me. Yes. Oh wow. To mom. Mom, take it. Oh wow. Welcome back home, mom. Hope you had a wonderful stay in Thailand. Hope you also enjoyed feeding the elephant. I sure did. Thank you. Wow, do you like your pasalu ball? Yeah. Yay. I like my pasalu ball. Like it? Uh, like it? Uh, 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 let me I see. I thought pasalu ball was like uh, vegetable or ice cream. Oh, uh, yeah. I just like What's that for eating? Oh, you're opening? Mm. Oh, you like your gift, Stephanie? Yeah. Oh, it's what? What is it? Mommy, what did you go to buy? What shopping you so we have to buy you again. So what? I can have you, baby. No. After ten, you can wait to say. I'm so happy to write on it at Sunday. I'm so excited.